Hello and welcome back. Chances are if you have googled WordPress, you would have seen the top two results are WordPress.com and WordPress.org. What is the difference? Simply put, WordPress.com is hosted for you and WordPress.org is self-hosted. What that means is, if you sign up at WordPress.com, they host your blog for you, meaning you don't need to tinker with anything, so if you are less technical savvy, you can still have your blog and not have to worry about any of the technical stuff. However, there are downsides to getting your blog hosted at WordPress.com. If you're planning to use the free service at WordPress.com, your URL will end with WordPress.com. So if I wanted my domain to be, say, I love cars, instead of the usual I love cars.com, it will be I love cars.wordpress.com. If you're wanting to start your own blog about your hobbies, then sure, no problem. But if you're wanting a website for your business, having wordpress.com at the end does not look professional at all. If you want to have a custom domain without the WordPress.com extension, you will have to pay. You cannot upload themes to WordPress.com. You can only use themes that are provided to you on WordPress.com. Some are free, but if you want premium themes, you will have to pay a one-off fee. Even if you do use one of their themes, you cannot customize it. If you want to customize CSS for the theme, you will need to pay as well. Now that's not to say that there is a lack of themes on WordPress.com. In fact, they have over 200 themes to choose from. However, if you're looking for a theme that is not included in their themes pack, or if you want a custom theme built just for you, you are out of luck. The ability to extend its functionalities using plugins is a huge part of the reason why WordPress is so popular and powerful. If you want to run an e-commerce site, there are plugins for that. If you want to run a membership-based website, there are plugins for that. However, on WordPress.com, you are not allowed to upload plugins, therefore severely limiting the potential of your blog slash website. A popular way to make some income is by starting a blog and run advertising programs or AdSense on it. This is not possible if you're on WordPress.com, as it violates their terms of service. WordPress.com does have their own advertising program called WordAds for bloggers with moderate to high traffic. However, you do need to apply for it, and there are criteria you have to meet. If the sole purpose of your site is to generate some side income, then WordPress.com is not for you. Perhaps you're wanting to take it easy, maybe start a blog, do some writing, if you have a big enough audience base, you'll start selling some merchandise, build a community by adding forums, etc. This is not possible on WordPress.com due to the limitations on themes and plugins. If you're planning on to expand your site in the future, WordPress.com is not for you. So to sum everything up, it's very important to figure out what you want to do. If you just want to start a blog to share photos or articles with your family and friends, but do not want to worry about the technical stuff, then WordPress.com is a good choice. If you want to do more with your blog, for example start a community, sell merchandise, customize your theme completely, then WordPress.org is a more suitable option. Now that you know the differences between WordPress.com and WordPress.org, let's talk about the different types of web hosts. <music>